Hello and welcome to episode 153 of the GameSpot After Dark podcast. I am your host, Mohsen, joined in the studio once again by the one, the only, Jean-Luc Seibke. Hello, we I have headphones the, now. Yeah. I can hear my voice. It sounds mm. very professional. I added the one and only because I saw you pick up the cup and I was like, I gotta delay this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta delay this by a second. <laughs> it's like swallowing. <laughs> uh, also joined by Jordan Ramey. What up, what up? And Lucy James. Hi. Also, Hi. hang on. It's very clear who is the favorite because we've got one and only and then just us two. I know, right? You didn't pick up a drink. That's why I added the one and only. I literally just explained it. <laughs> You can't drink from the Magic 8 Ball, the GameSpot Magic 8 Ball. You probably could. It you just would not could. be good for you. Yeah, you would almost I mean, certainly die. What do you think that blue liquid tastes like? Not nothing this is, good. This is how the Tide Pods nothing thing happens. Nothing good. So. Yeah, this is how the Tide Pod <laughs> things happen. Uh, Lucy. Hi. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, every now and then, I'm just going to throw a question for the Magic 8 Ball okay. at you. And please um, chat and if you have any yeah, too. Yeah, chat if you have any questions for the Magic 8 Ball. Um, let, let us know and we'll do our best to o- ask it and see what it tells us. Lucy James, mm. can you ask the Magic Eight Ball? Yeah. If yeah. Bayonetta Three is going to be a good game. Okay, wait. <coughs> is Bayonetta Three going to be a good game? I'm getting the ASMR wow. in here too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very important. Um, it did the thing where it just it it kind of it went on the it edge. Nothing. It's nothing. Okay, so it's is Bayonetta Three going to be a good it's game? It's basically cocked. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's done it again. God, this is it why does not we want to answer this these. question. It's done it. Uh, okay, okay. Big money, big prizes. Let's hey! go! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Big money, big prizes, according to the GameSpot branded Magic 8 Ball that we found on the free table in the uh, office kitchen. Hey, I have put many things on that free table. That was yeah. not one of them. I the GameSpot branded Magic 8 Ball is absolute dog shit. <laughs> Don't uh, listen. Wow. Uh, Don't listen. I will say that as a GameSpot employee, and I'll say it loud with my chest. Do we ever sell that? Like, what, no, what I think I think, think this were. was for um, an E3 party that we hosted. Mm. Yeah, and none of it made sense. I remember shaking it a few times and being like, "This is not good for asking questions well, this, because <laughs> it gives you like <laughs> random things." Sounds very cheap too. It, yeah, yeah, I mean, like the it's blue liquid it has. I know we've been kind of messing around with it since I found it ten minutes ago. Uh, the blue liquid has bubbled quite a lot, and it means that it is actually quite difficult to read mm. what is on the Magic 8 Ball. Mm. Mm. But oh. nevertheless, we will persevere. All right, let's get into the portion of the podcast where we talk about what we've been consuming as content consumption people. Ew. Uh, I've been consuming like this <laughs> Jurassic World Dominion um, diet, Dr. Pepper. Have you seen Jurassic World? Absolutely fucking not. No? No one no. watch it? Okay, no, cool. I do no. not want to watch it. Well, what have you been consuming? Oh, that's a good segue. I uh, I watched all of the leftovers. Okay, sad Ooh. show. Um, Very sad. Every episode. Every episode. Mm, non leftover. Oh. Right. How sad does it make you? Because I'm I don't know if I'm looking to be sad don't, right now. Don't. It's, I, it's like really Bruce sad. Banner. That's my secret, <laughs> Captain. I'm always sad. <laughs> so, and then I turn and <laughs> so first of all, it's only it's uh 28 episodes, so it's not even like a huge investment. It's half an anime. It's half an anime. I um I watched the final th- two episodes on Sunday night. Um, obviously, you know, you've got the Sunday scaries. You're coming back into work. And I'll tell you one way to get over the Sunday scaries is just to cry it out. Mm. Sat alone in my apartment. Give yourself the Sunday sads. Yeah, give myself the Sunday, the Sunday sads. Sunday I was just in flood, like genuine floods of tears. <laughs> so uh, I would say it's one of the best TV shows, one of the best finales I've ever seen. Mm. Um but maybe, yeah, so it's sad. But what I have been playing, uh, in terms of actual stuff I've been consuming, I've been playing some Power Wash Simulator. I did it on stream on uh, Tuesday. Tam joined mm-hmm. me, along with Phaedrum and a Nanobiologist. Uh, we all just played some Power Wash Sim. It's a fun game. That's a really fun, satisfying game. Yeah, I don't know good. why it's so good. You know exactly why it's good. As, as someone who frequents, like, pimple popping videos, but also I do watch a lot of power wash videos yeah. on TikTok. The algorithm has really honed in on that. Have you got the pool cleaner guy? Yes. He's incredible. The pool guy? Pool cleaner guy is amazing. I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> Dude, I do know what they're talking about. You can go to TikTok <laughs> and find, or YouTube, and you can find people that will do like incredibly satisfying menial activities. There's a guy who will clean pools. 
and you just get to watch him clean a pool. Do you know how dirty pools get? Yeah, he is. He is amazing because you see this fucking swamp get turned into a really like pristine looking pool, and it's like. How will he do this? And it's like this this water looks black. How is he gonna do this? And he like yeah. will throw like a tablet in there mm-hmm. and it will like just bubble up and then condense all the garbage into one small thing that he just scoops up and pulls out and you're like wow. witchcraft. Oh, yeah. So he's a witch. <laughs> yeah. But power wash simulator, it's it's just it, it, it's exactly what it says on the tin. It's one of those simulator games. They you kind of you boot it up and it goes, here's a really filthy van and he is a power washer. And then you just. I thought it was that summer game fest, wasn't it? I want to say. Might have been there. Might have yeah. been. That might have just been a person power washing their yeah. car. Yeah. No, that maybe. was just someone outside. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but no, so I was playing it, and um, you can obviously take the approach that we were, like kind of dicking about, writing in writing in the grime, or you can take it very seriously. Getting Make sure you've got the right nozzle for the job. Use soap. Be like me, hack the game and accidentally get unlimited Infinite soap. soap. <laughs> How did you accidentally oh, hack yeah, it? Yeah, so basically but when, when you clean bits to like 100%, you get money. And then you <laughs> and then you use that to buy soap and okay. different things. You could also have different outfits. Mm-hmm. Um, Very important for yes. watching stuff. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's fashion suds, I guess. Fashion, <laughs> fashion suds instead of fashion souls. Uh, but no, we were playing it on on stream. It's a very fun time. It's in it's on Game Pass now, so it's like free. But it's been in early access for a bit, and I just didn't expect it to be so good. Yeah, it's, it's so satisfying. It's really satisfying. It's out now, I think. Yes, today. Right? It should be out now. Um, it's on Game oh, Pass on yeah, yeah, yeah. The 14th. Xbox and PC. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, on the cloud. If you want to really take that, you can't power wash the clouds. No. Okay. How many uh, multiplayer? How, how much is it? So six. But six wow. in in like the special modes, yeah, uh, which is where you have the really really big um, things to wash. Like we were doing a fountain that was massive. There's also a mini golf course or whatever. Um, but in career mode, it's only two. Okay. Yeah. But they do the really cool unpacking thing where you you know whenever you've unpacked a room and I'm unpacking, it shows you a little gif of you just very satisfying. Does that in Power Wash mm-hmm. Simulator too? <laughs> it's very good. I'm telling my friend group right now. Yeah. That yeah. Uh, I play stuff with. Yeah, yeah. Let's just. We should all do this. Yeah. Like, let's <laughs> let's just play Power Wash Simulator. Are we doing it on Unprofessional Friday? Yeah, I think so. We're I doing like it. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll be on but that one. So. Yeah. Let's do oh, it. Oh hell yeah! Get it downloaded. I need to. I need to see if mine goes to 1.0 because I've got the early access version. Does it do crossplay? Yes. yes oh, even better. Um, yeah. uh, it is a really good podcast game. Mm-hmm. And also a stream game. So when I was playing it, I was watching Lucy's stream where she started playing it. And I was already playing it. Yeah. So I was like, great, I'm watching someone play Power Wash Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, uh, and then, and then like, we just combined to the one Power Wash Simulator game. We cleaned but, the yeah, hell cleaned out, of the shit out of that fountain. Except, <laughs> is it, I remember like stepping back and we'd completely missed like yeah, a whole one massive ton chunk of it. Of it yeah. yeah. Wait, um, so like when you're when you're washing something, does the game eventually say like, oh, you've cleaned yeah. everything so what or it usually does is like if you start with a car it breaks out the individual parts of the car into their own sections like door panel left door panel right bumper hubcaps mm-hmm. and when you clean a part it will do like 100 percent hubcap okay and, and it will let you let, let you do that and it's also got a button where if you hold it down it will show you where all the grime is mm. so mm. you can Flashes. actually like yeah. yeah and like what generally what it does is like it will give you the you've completed this section at like 80% mm-hmm. but then you can really like carry on going and get in the nooks and crannies yeah. and do 100% <laughs> which is what I'm all about I clean that first van until it was perfectly like, you also pristine. have a superhuman jump which I really yeah, appreciate. It's you can nice. just like nice. into the air. <laughs> you can also crouch and go prone. Yeah, you <laughs> <laughs> like it's got the it's got the uh, like armor like as you when you crouch the little uh, image in the corner goes into a crouch and you press prone and it goes or the anima- yeah. it animates yeah. into a. Prone. Can you get like underneath a car? Underneath you can't like get underneath, no, you but can't you, get can, underneath. you can. You can like the little rafters of the what, what, what are they called out? So underneath the house. Um, oh, like the foundation. Uh, yeah, yeah, foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 just like oh, you're so the crawl space. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's so good to like put on a podcast yeah. and mm-hmm. just like just clean away and also yeah. or like watch a stream in the background or, or that kind of that thing. That sounds great. It's really, mm-hmm. really satisfying, uh, really enjoyable. It's out now, so you can check it out. But 
Um, yeah, I, I'm. I haven't tried it on console. You were playing with a controller. I was playing with the controller. Yeah, I was playing with. I'm an elite gamer, so I play with mouse and keyboard. Oh my god! And it lets me really get into the nooks and crannies. Is you know it Game saying? Pass? Yes. Yes. <gasps> yeah, better. Get your ass on Game Pass. You know that's what Microsoft says, mm-hmm. and that's what you should do. What about game catalog. What, what are you talking about? That's, the, the, PlayStation. That's the name of the PlayStation. The PlayStation no, that, that really showcases no. how no, <laughs> terrible PlayStation is at advertising. I don't even Welcome <laughs> to Game Catalog. How much simulator? Is it even coming to PlayStation? If you're naming your service... The it's way not. To, when, wow. No, if you're naming Maybe your service... Maybe it's limited time or something? The, oh. the way to figure out whether you have got a good name for your service is say the name in the same in the quote for Welcome to Jurassic Park. Yeah. Because if well, it sounds good, welcome, well, 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 welcome Game Spot to after Game dark. Pass. Well, game, well, like See? pass implies like you think like oh like a fast pass at like Disney. Yeah. You're like mm-hmm. I am paying to have fun. Catalog sounds like a magazine. <laughs> yeah, or like oh like I'm gonna go to the library and there's like the Dewey yeah, Decimal System's gonna yeah. be there. The, yeah. the lady's gonna pull out the little cards and know, <laughs> get me my game. And I'm like oh, that's not as fun. One of my favorite things ever in the world was uh, Sky Mall, mm. and that's you know R.I.P. Sky Mall. I'm going to Google it just to feel something again. <laughs> but that's gone now. Oh, well, it's, it's all online, but it's not the same as having the catalog. Like, I want to have a full-size replica of Tutankhamun's sarcophagus. No, and I don't. want to be able to order that from the comfort of the airplane that I'm on. Mm. Ooh, an automatic pet feeder. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's, it's a fun game. It's a good game. It's worth checking out, especially if you've got Game Pass because it's free. Welcome. Um, so you, <laughs> welcome to Game Pass. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it goes. <laughs> That's how it works. Uh, Lucy, can you ask the eight ball um, <clears throat> whether Bayonetta 2's naive angel mode will make me a better gamer? <laughs> These are all going to be Bayonetta themed questions. Says, uh, <clears throat> says Hydran Ox. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Oh, is that the mode where they uh, yeah, no no okay, yeah. no longer okay. ashamed I call of it, our words? I call it like naive mode. Is I that call like it the easy <laughs> mode or something? I call <laughs> it bayonet two Sharia law mode. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Will it's also bayonet three? A uh, bayonet three, yeah. Fake gamer. Bayonet uh, three, absolutely halal mode. <laughs> Will what is it called again? Angel mode. Let's just call it halal mode. What's it called? Naive. <laughs> naive angel mode. Will naive angel mode, halal mode. aka halal mode. Make Tam a better gamer. No, not me. Oh, this, make I'm already a good gamer. I'm the best gamer. Called I'm talking about Hydronox. Okay, we'll make it. Same question. Will it make Hydronox a better gamer? Come on, big money, big prizes. Uh, no! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, bad. <clears throat> Is this the word no in all caps? Uh, no, it was uh, capital N and like seven O's. Oh, uh, seven yeah. O's and then, a, and then a, an exclamation mark. I'm sorry. I'm very, really sorry. Very unfortunate. So just enjoy, enjoy the uh, You know what the upside skin. is? Now you can get to see Bayonetta's bits. Yeah. You get skin. No, she has, she has um, hair covering it. I think there's bits where she's, she's showing her flesh a bit more. Which mm. is what the naive angel tasteful oh. nudity. Oh no no! I saw I saw I saw the gif. Oh. She ha- she still had hair. Yeah, it's like very. Yeah. It's I think very that was the Nintendo terrible. safe for Twitter gif. Oh, like yeah. I think. Mm. Oh okay. <laughs> in Miyamoto being like just putting this in here so no one can see these nipples. <laughs> um, what else are you been checking out, Lucy? A Plague Tale Innocence. Ah oh, yes. Ooh. Because mm. uh, you, we were talking about Plague Tale Requiem a couple weeks ago. And I realized that I never played a Plague Tale and it's free on PlayStation Plus. And I was uh, just, you know, when you're so overcome with choice and I just booted up my PlayStation and PlayStation yeah. was like, hey, here's a free one for you. So, okay. Well then. Uh, and it's really good. I really enjoy it. I, um, it's a lot, and I don't mean to sound dismissive. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Mm. The story's really good. I really like the way they've kind of, nailed the brother sister relationship although it is technically like the entire game is pretty much an escort mission it doesn't feel overbearing in that way and i i don't know the puzzles are inventive and i like the way that it just kind of presents every little area it's it's a very deliberate game yeah and i really enjoy it and um i'm up to chapter 12 or 14 so probably gonna finish it tomorrow yeah i I played it at the weekend and i just kind of been 
Um, I'll tell you what I've been doing. I've been using PlayStation Help, because I barely ever use that, um, to make sure I get all the collectibles, because I want to get the Platinum, because it seems pretty achievable. Yeah, it's pretty achievable if you're, like, working towards it on your mm-hmm. first playthrough. If you realize at the end, you're like, oh, fuck, I have to replay, like, this it level has, and this has, level. It uh, has yeah. chapter select, though, uh, the PlayStation 5 version. Oh, does it? I don't know if yeah, it yeah. had that when the game first I don't remember launched. it having that. It's got chapter selection, but because it I remember has... being super annoyed when I got to the end. I'm like, fuck, I missed something back <laughs> in, like, chapter three. Or... <laughs> <laughs> because it uses... A the... single rat has escaped. <laughs> 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 it uses the activity cards, so you can even just pull up the thing and hit the hit square and it takes you that around. feature oh. just abandoned wasn't it like no such it's, a it's good because feature. not everyone does it but the ones that do use it yeah. like use it really well like demon um, souls i think had it demon souls all the all the launch stuff had it i remember astro's playroom had it because i used that to oh yeah that was really good play um, spider-man had it and that was yep. cool because oh, yeah. you could uh use it to like immediately fast travel to like a certain yeah. like a thing that does you actually Horizon couldn't do in the game which is yeah. kind of weird <laughs> but like cool i don't I think Horizon had it at How launch. are you a first party Sony studio not putting it? But that I don't in? know for sure. Like, yeah, don't quote me on that. The first that. party studios, I feel like that's <laughs> yeah. a thing. I feel like that's where Herman Hulse should like kick in the door and be like, I need to have a word with all of you right now. And he just takes <laughs> off his belt. <laughs> Time for a beating. A <laughs> <laughs> beating. How to find, a, how to use the game um, help. I'm just trying to find if there's a list anywhere, but no. There isn't, sadly. There but isn't. but no, yeah. I've been enjoying Enjoy that. It. Uh, I'm gonna finish that, and then we'll, I I start. Mass Effect was free on the old um, like Amazon gaming. I love that. You're whole. acting like you don't own Mass Effect, like. No, well now I own it. Finally, yeah. like I can play Mass Effect for the first yeah, time but, after years of poverty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just I just brushed my hair behind my ear, and this came off. Yeah, the um. What's I'm the, sorry. These headphones are. I think Jordan has the only good headphones. The rest I, are I all. I had those a few weeks ago, and like I remember just taking it off <laughs> and then going back to my apartment, and being like, "What the fuck's in my fro?" And just like all these little pieces of. We headphones. have no money. Okay, <laughs> we've got no money. <laughs> we are operating on a shoestring budget of hopes and dreams. This is what our headphones. I mean, have like. you seen this? Have we ever talked about? for like the the chat the live chat about this desk and why there is a a giant piece of wood on this desk why is no. that i don't even know this. Cha- well, i know well, m- oh my god you know what maybe <laughs> <laughs> maybe that'll oh, be like a i've had that skin condition <laughs> <laughs> we can make that like a special reveal like one day if we get to like a like a stretch goal we'll reveal I think that's going to be an incredibly disappointing reveal <laughs> <laughs> it will but that's it's going to be like you know two what? years from now the one like, we know. finally get to see <laughs> and it's like okay, two see years if we have this desk more than like a month I'm going to yeah we have been actively trying to get this out of here immediately yeah but you've also been saying that for like three months now so you know what the fault, problem okay? is? Gonna, we have no money. Okay, we've got no. And what money. makes you think that next month we will have money? <laughs> well, Jordan, John, Luke, and I are planning a heist. Okay, mm-hmm. we're going. Oh, to you're, play, just, you're playing GTA you're just, Online. We're going to the local Wells Fargo, and we are going to kindly. We're going to head over to IGN's the, office yeah, and just we're steal, all steal their, their headphones. <laughs> IG <laughs> has plenty of headphones. They won't. Just to be they won't know. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, Recording like we're all our headphones. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are acting like we don't have millions of sets of gaming headphones oh, yeah. lying there's, around. Like, come on. There's at least ten right next to me. And yeah. They all belong yeah. In to this Michael office, Hyatt. you are never more than six <laughs> feet away from a, a pair of yeah, gaming. Richard does have like five headphones. Richard has class. like headphones for no reason. Like I don't know why. Headphones are just there. And he plays like his music or whatever he's listening to over like. The headphones that have the most insane amount of bleed on them. <laughs> that is like wild. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. So yeah, I've been playing playing that, and then uh, what else have I been doing? For, oh, uh, I'm hyper fixating on The Sims again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you dodged I, COVID. That was a big. Oh yeah, I dodged COVID. That was good. You continue to we love dodge to COVID. It. I yeah. I mean, I was talking to my doctor and I was like, do I have long COVID? And she went, you haven't had COVID, so no. Yeah. Lucy's like, oh, do I have the, 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 the most potent version of COVID? And she's like, well, you need COVID You need to get first. one before you <laughs> can't skip the skill yeah. tree. <laughs> do you think it's allergies? Because I feel like 
I've been having like weird, just like l- I like don't my know. throat. My throat's been like real sore lately for like a really long time, and just like constantly stuffy in a way. And I think it's like allergies this year. I don't, I've had a thing bad. for like the last few months, so this yeah. is kind of a culmination of that. But okay. allergies wise, I had to take my cat to the emergency vet yesterday because mm-hmm. she had what I thought was a tooth abscess, and then I get there pay $200 for them to tell me she's allergic to something. Oh, no. And I have no idea what it is, so I have to get, like, a new... Oh, no. Yeah, it, I, I... So it's just something in your apartment, and you just yeah, don't know what it is. no idea what it is. So, also, the vet, um, it was a new vet. I changed I changed vet, because there's the one the one that's right next to me is really, really busy and takes, like, two weeks to get an appointment. Mm. I went up to a new one, which I love. They're really great with my cat. I can get an appointment same day or next day. It's phenomenal. I went in, I had a new vet looking at Peanut, and she she was like talking away and she went, you know, I know I haven't seen Peanut before, but I do recognize you, as in me. Oh no. But me being British, I was like, oh, I can't possibly ask her if she meant to say that to me or if she said that she just recognized my cat, so I'm just gonna ignore it. I love the idea of your vet looking directly <laughs> at your cat going, you know, I've never seen you before, but I do recognize you. Yeah, no, and I was like, and I was like, I, I should is she talking about Pina? She can't talk about me. And now it's just haunting me. I was like, where does this vet know me from? Is she a gamer? I must say she could be a gamer. Just see Maybe you on Maybe she's a gamer vet, but you know. <laughs> this is vet. If you're in the chat, let us know. Or I guess if you're Dr. in a giant Adams. bomb, kind of funny. Yeah. You've been yeah. a lot of places. Yeah. I know. Yeah. But anyway, Peanut, to fine. <laughs> she, no, she's fine. They, she has put on a little bit of weight. She's like 15 pounds now. How she, much is that in dollars? Oh my God. <laughs> She's meant to be like 12. And I, and I think it's because she knows I'm an easy mark. Because if she starts like going, me, I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah. Have a treat. Oh. Have a treat. Mm, well, it just takes no, one. Wow. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'd be doomed if I was a parent. Like, I'd be like, I'd be like Veruca Salt. You dad. can't have any candy. But mom, please. <laughs> I'd be Ver- I would be Veruca Salt's dad. Um, but uh. anyway, that's what, that's what I've been up to. Been sick. Sick cat. Neat. Rats. Rats. And crying. Uh, crying. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a solid one. I promise I'm not depressed. <laughs> <Solid work. laughs> At least one of us isn't. Jeez. Jury's out. Um. Jury's out. <laughs> Jordan, are you depressed? Uh, I Wait. <laughs> Magic 8 Ball, is Jordan <laughs> remain <laughs> depressed? Oh, no. Game over. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> Do we need a trigger warning? What's going on? <laughs> what? All right, Jordan's got to be put on <laughs> on watch. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what have you been up to, Jordan? Uh, I've been playing the other game that is on Game Pass uh, starting today, Escape Academy. Oh. Uh, hey. Which is an incredible time, especially if you have someone to play? play with. Yes, Let's I have do it downloaded. 100% play with uh, another person. Like I, If you want to play it on your own or you have to play it on your own because you have no one else to play with, that's fine. The game is fine, but it is <laughs> leagues. <laughs> it's leagues better with another person. See, like I didn't. Jordan is doing this because he put this sassiness into his. <laughs> and review, you denied me. And I, and I rolled up <laughs> with my editor brain. And I was like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's all coming out. <laughs> Go on, get it but out. But it, it was. I playing this game solo feels like. I, like what? What's a game that's like designed specifically like for multiple people? Uh, like so Apex Legends, Lawbreakers. <laughs> <laughs> Those are two very different <laughs> examples. <laughs> <laughs> you can play. You can play Apex by yourself. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so. uh, it's kind of like uh, it would. It's, it's kind a, of like um, w- kicking a ball against a wall. Sure. But it's more fun when you Shh. kick it to another person and they kick it back. Yeah, Jesus. we'll go with that example. <laughs> it's like kicking a ball against the wall by yourself as opposed to kicking it with another person. I thought that was a good example. I, I don't know, man. I love kicking a ball against the wall on my own. <laughs> like, I don't need other people. I don't have to rely on other people. That's a back of the box quote. Yeah. <laughs> Escape Academy. It's like kicking a ball against the wall. <laughs> Uh, Gamespot.com. Fatty, <laughs> Fatty Stack DMAC in the chat says Castle Crashes. That's a good yes, example. Yes, that's a great example. Okay. That is, that's a perfect example. <laughs> Phaedrum says Among Us, which is also a good example. <laughs> if you're playing Among Us and you're wrong, you, you are. You've got some problems. 
<laughs> single player, one person starts off among us. They'll never find me. <laughs> but it would be terrifying if you were like fixing everything up and then all of a sudden like stuff someone started going wrong and you're like, who, <laughs> what am I who else is here? You're just in there on your own and someone calls a meeting and you're like, who? Who's done this? <laughs> But yeah, no, uh, Escape Escape Academy is dope. It's definitely going to be, I think, on my top ten by the end of the year. Um, it's it, it it's emulates what it's like to do, like, an escape room very well. Like, it's the first-person 3D point-and-click uh, space. And if you're, like, playing with another person, you can do kind of that thing. It does it split screens. So you can just, like, see what the other person is uh, looking at, um, which is just so much easier for all the clues. I'm I'm telling everyone, please just play with another person. I don't understand why there's a single See, player I was, option. I was gonna in this play game. single player, then I read the review. <laughs> mm-hmm. so that's why I was like, I'm, playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing it under my own. It's like don't don't listen to the hacks. It's kind of funny. Greg Miller doesn't know what he's talking about. He's Greg like, Miller play it on his own. He played it play on his loud. own, and he's like, it's totally fine if you play by your own. I'm like, no, it's not. Why are you lying to your audience like this? <laughs> listen, that man has a child, <laughs> a business, a wife. Maybe he just those all sound those all those all them. sound like people yeah. he could have been playing. Yeah, yeah. that sounds yeah. true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> true I mean, anyways, Greg Miller sucks to be you, man. <laughs> According to Jordan May. Yeah, apparently. Yikes. But yeah, uh, someone's never get invited back onto kind of funny games. I w- I wasn't gonna be invited on anyway because I you will. Uh, well, I I talked shit about the PS Vita the last time. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. I take it back. You're never going back on. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, what, for people who don't know, what is this game? And yeah. Yeah, uh, Escape Academy is a game where you're just uh, playing as this person who gets invited to the Escape Academy, which is like the place where they're like, oh yeah, we train like the future's like spies and hackers and presidents for whatever reason is like thrown in there too. Um, And like all of the pop quizzes and like classes and whatnot all take the form of escape rooms. I mean, you're trying to collect 10 badges over the course of the year in order to uh, just prove that you're the best in your class. Mm -hmm. Almost none of that matters. It's like very neon white vibes where you're Mm -hmm. like, after a while, you're like, I just want to do more escape Mm -hmm. rooms. Like the stories kind of just here as set dressing to like just kind of remind me why I'm here and why I should care to do the escape room. But like the escape room is just fun. So it's like, Mm -hmm. why wouldn't you just like go on to the next one? They start getting really hard after a while. Not like the witness level of hard, but like in the way where you kind of like face this problem, you're just kind of like staring at it for like two minutes. It's like the answer's right there. I just need to. Wait, does it have a timer? Yeah. um, Almost all of them have timer. Some of them have creative variations of the timer, but yeah, for. I think the longest one is a 45 minute timer. Okay. I want to say. And the shortest one I think is 10 minutes. Um but yeah, like there's not a lot of replay value here and I would just tell people like if you're getting like short on time, like don't bother uh, there's a hint system where like someone will be like, "Hey, maybe you should do this." Don't use the hint system. Like, just try to the best that you can because, like, the escape rooms are kind of like one of those things. Since there's no RNG, it's like the mm. same levels. So like, like I replayed one level just to like see, like, oh, I wonder if it's changed. And I'm like, no, the answer is exactly the same. So, like, a 30 minute escape room. My second attempt took me 10 seconds to get out, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> so. Um, it's just one of those things where I'm like, just let the timer go. Just try to figure out the best you can. Um, Dave and I managed to get A plus on like all the escape rooms that we played together on first try, like not to humble brag or anything, but first like try. just putting it out there. Yeah. Like, what happens if you fail it? Does it just move? Because in a normal escape room, if you fail, you just get let out and you're just shamed and sent on your way. But in yeah. this, does it, is it like retry? Yeah, it's essentially like. Uh, like one of the escape rooms is you, the janitor accidentally locks you at the bottom of a tower that's quickly flooding. And so, like, the timer is, like, tied to the water slowly going up. And Mm -hmm. it's like, oh, you drowned. 
But it's like, oh, don't worry. Just uh, try again and uh, go back to the you beginning. You drowned. Yeah. So. <laughs> they took uh, the the creator said they took inspiration from My Hero Academia, and they're like designing a school where it's like the students are just up to crazy, dangerous oh, okay. shit, like on yeah. a near constant basis. But everyone's like, no, this is this normal. is totally Fine. normal. Like. There's a gun going off over there. This student almost drowned. There's poisonous gas in the vents. These are just things that happen. We <laughs> still on my hero here. <laughs> 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 but yeah, it's 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 a dope game, and everyone should definitely play it with a friend and not by yourself because mm. that's the subpar way to play. Full review up on Gamespot.com now. Hell yeah. What else you've been checking out? I that uh, volleyball game I was talking about last oh, week. Yeah. I kept playing the demo, and I'm now 11 hours <laughs> to play. What in the that demo? demo? Wait, it's and a it's demo for a game that's not out, right? That's not out. Okay, cool. What's it I called? thought you were like, I'm only playing the demo. I'm not buying it. <laughs> volleyball game. It's called Spike Air Volleyball. And it's, uh, it's Welcome. S P I K A I R. Um, and it's just, I want to say it's these like two or three dudes out of like France or something like that who, uh, are just like huge high Q fans who are like, there's no good (laughs) volleyball video game. So we're just going to make it. And I'm like, this is really, really good. All the patch notes have like little like, uh, references to like high Q and stuff like that. Like they were like. Oh, you know, like one of the coolest things in the anime is that Hinata is able to like see the block and like hit mm. the ball off the person's block. So you've now added that into the game. So oh, if the hmm. blocks in front of you, you don't feel like all is lost. Um, and like they seem really passionate about the project. And uh, I think they're like trying to get the full game out and early access uh, this year where it's going to have like this story mode where like you're recruiting different people of different strengths and uh, like you train them up to get stronger and you're like rising in the world tier facing off all against these opponents and I mean oh they look so happy in a demo (laughs) spike air volleyball spike air is s-p-i-k-a-i-r I'm I'm on spike volleyball. No, which looks spike volleyball is awful. terrible. It's like <laughs> it's there. It's, it's whoever made that game was like, we're gonna make the FIFA, but like for volleyball, mm. and it's no. it's not even up to like FIFA standards, <laughs> which is like already really. Fucking I love low. it when when developers <laughs> are like, we're gonna make a FIFA version. It's like. FIFA wasn't just one game that they made and were like, we did it. It's like <laughs> they made, they've been making FIFA for one billion years mm-hmm. and they've been making incremental improvements every single time. So you're not just going to roll up and make a FIFA. Like you're going to make a shit game that you then need to commit 20 years into. <laughs> but no one's willing to. This looks cool though. Yeah. I've, I've been having a great time with it. They're already like trying to think about how they could improve it in a quote unquote sequel or expansion because a lot of people are like hey could you add like these sort of attacks and stuff like that and they're like ah that would be like too complex in a 1v1 setting because it's designed that you control the entire team on one side of the court Mm -hmm. so they're like maybe in the future we would make like a sequel to this and it would be like 2v2 or something like that but for right now we just want to get like this game out and with the Mm -hmm. build that we have it just doesn't we can't figure out how to make it work to add Mm -hmm. a a 2v2 setting uh, right now which maybe will change Mm -hmm. but like I I mean I've had 11 hours of good time with mm. the demo so far against bots. So <laughs> is, I, I mean, like, I would love to see more about this. Um, if only uh, you worked for a video game website that was capable of writing some sort of feature. About if only, it. If, if only my job allowed me to seek out these people and ask them if they had who's more details you? to Tell me who's share. Stopping you. <laughs> Get on it. Sounds like you're being lazy. I want to Absolutely interview not. with these people by next week, Jordan Ramey. <laughs> you need to find Chalk Abyss and see what they're up to. That's a fucking dope ass that is a developer. Name. Chalk Abyss. But yeah, get in touch with them. Let's just do a feature on this. Yeah, it's happening live. We'll do an audio logs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
know where that PC is. I, oh, no, no, it's, it's right literally right next to us. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> Richard was like playing with this. Audio logs back, back on the menu. Well, yeah, I was like, what should we do with this? And Richard's like, oh, we should just like, put it on a desk and use it. And I'm like, oh, yeah. no, okay. no, no. I'll, I'll use it. I'll draw some stuff on there. Okay. Yeah, mm. let's do it. But seriously, maybe you should reach out to them and see if there's anything we can do cool with them. That Hell yeah. Fun. I mean, like, volleyball games seem very underserved. And is that a fucking joke? Is that a pun? Yeah, of course it is a pun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? Anything else? Uh, no, that's that's it for me. Okay, cool. Jean-Luc? Um, I, they've been playing a game that I can't talk about. Mm, uh, Half-Life 3. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you... Okay, for real though, are they? Do you think? No. Are they? Cause, absolutely not. No. Because no. well, uh, did you, you you did you play Alex? I I st- I need to go back to playing. I'm gonna play it Alex. Ends. I'm gonna play Half Life Alex tonight. Okay. No, you're not. Don't I'm don't bet. don't what? bet. That was such I just turned to you and you you were like doing this. Uh, it looks like you just took some drugs. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's off her for just long enough. I turned around. You're like. <laughs> like no. Um, yeah, I, I I need to finish Alex. Yeah, I, well, I had that thing where I got it. the mm. uh, <laughs> Oculus Quest two <laughs> and like plugged it in, and I had a bug in Alex where every time she, I raised my hand, it had her hand, and then the gun overlaid on top of it. Okay, mm. yeah, and it was like really immersion breaking because yeah, it was yeah. just like the hand and the gun independently moving, and I was like, I hate this. I can't. Well, without spoiling it, the ending of Alex sets is up. like sets up three in a way that's like i swear to god valve if you then ghost me for another like decade no No chance (sighs) could you imagine though that there could be a moment in time where someone's joking about like oh i'm playing something i can't talk about and someone's like oh is it half-life three and in the back of their mind they're like well actually yes yes. Mm. (laughs) could you could you imagine if they did make half-life three but they had to incorporate the steam deck into it so you were wearing a fucking Vive headset. Oh, that no, would... And, and then you have like, like, like a would, Wii U. <laughs> I would love it if it was like uh, Breath of the Wild, where you hit the menu button and, and uh, oh, Gordon like raises a Steam Deck. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is a little tablet. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. <laughs> that would be so good. It just raises it and it's fucking, hello, Gordon. <laughs> oh, fuck. This guy again. Um, yeah. Uh, that's a game you haven't been playing. Yeah, that's a game yeah. you have been playing, but you can't talk about yeah, it. Yeah, um, I can't talk about the game I've been playing. I haven't actually been playing much else. Um, I have been watching Tuca and Birdie. Have you oh, guys seen I've it? Oh, it. I've yeah. not seen it, but okay. I do love... Because um, uh, they they were originally on BoJack, right? Yeah, basically. some of the people from BoJack. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's, I'm watching the second season. So, man. Wait, before we begin, mm-hmm. before we carry on, Magic 8-Ball, is Half-Life 3 ever coming out? <laughs> Oh shit! Hints at Gamespot. Whoa! Do we have the reveal? <laughs> do we know? We, we just launched oh, an ARG. <laughs> <laughs> go go to Gamespot.com and see if you can find out hints, anything. Hints at Gamespot. See if you can find some hints yeah. about Half Life Three oh on my. Gamespot.com. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! Anyways, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we found this. <laughs> Oh, if you go to back to our like our uh, game of the year video for Alex, like it's like oh like did you see that Rob blinked three times? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow Rob blinked only three times in this thirty minute video. That can only be one thing. He's either high as a kite or. <laughs> uh, but yeah, watching Tuka and Birdie. If you haven't seen it, it is excellent. If you like BoJack Horseman, I highly recommend it. If you like. Um, I feel like Ali Wong, um, mm-hmm. who uh, plays Birdie. Like if, if you love oh, her like comedy, yeah. like. Uh, highly recommend it. I didn't know um, she was in it. So th- the first season was on Netflix and then Netflix said, no, nah, we're not we're not making more of this. The old Net- oh, Netflix, ne- Netflix, Netflix, Netflix saying that they're not going to make more of something? Netflix shit canning <laughs> their animation? Yeah. Wow. So then uh, Adult Swim said, eh, we'll pick it up. And I was like, excellent. I'm very excited to watch this. Um, they aired it on cable only last year. Brilliant. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, can... Mm. I would like to watch this show. I don't have cable. And they're like, like to be fair, like the, the uh, I think the Adult Swim account was kind of like, look, we know, like, it, this is all like d- deals made in advance mm. and we can't do anything about it. So it finally aired on HBO Max like three weeks ago, mm-hmm. the second season, which is like a whole year after it's been on cable. And just like two days ago, they started airing the third season 
Also on HBO Max, though. So I'm oh. like midway through the second season. They're like, hey, season three's happening. And I'm like, sweet. <laughs> I'm not even done yet. Binge, binge, binge. Uh, it's really good, though. It, it's it, it has that like same kind of BoJack Horseman where it's just mm. like very funny, but also gets extremely real in a way that mm. you're like, oh, God, this is this is a lot. Um, mm. But it's all like female focused and um it gets into some really heavy subject matter, um, especially that first season, uh, uh, second season as well. It's I would give like a fair warning, like because it kind of touches on some stuff. Uh, but I also think like the stuff it touches on is like really cool, and it's like, like wow, I've never seen like a piece of television like talk about like um, just like uh, like issues with like partners and like sex and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's really good. So um, without getting into like specific story mm-hmm. details but it, it's it's really good it's insanely funny it's got this amazing art style that's kind of like bojack horseman but even like weirder mm-hmm. um because unlike bojack because bojack has humans in it right mm-hmm. and yes it's like, like diane and yeah this is like all anthropomorphic animals so mm-hmm. they live in like bird town and it's just like it seems bird like the town. most insane like there's an episode where they they're like oh we're gonna go visit um for a bachelorette party, we're gonna go to this this like special island, and it's this island where all the people there are like plant people, and it's just the most insane looking like I, I don't even know how to describe it. Like everything there is just like made out of plants, mm-hmm. and there's just like these like pole dancing strippers, but their like heads are Venus flytraps. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so if you're into that. Ooh, it's boy. a good time. Love me some poison ivy. Yeah, uh, two and birdie. Highly recommend it. Mm-hmm. It's uh, yeah, it's really how really, many really episodes really good. season? Do you know? Um, I think it was ten each, uh, and they're only like twenty two 20 minutes, minutes. So yeah, okay, cool. Pretty easy, pretty easy uh, speed through. So yeah, highly yeah. recommend it. But it's kind of all I've been doing. Like okay. I didn't. Georgia was gone for the weekend, and I was like, time to get stuff done. And then I proceeded to do. Absolutely nothing. Hell yeah. Oh, a dirtbag weekend. I love yeah. it. Yeah, mm. I didn't. No, I, I didn't feel good about it though, because I really no. did like actually like want to do stuff, and then I was like, Yeah, yeah. No, that's the that's all. what happens when you when you become an adult. You spend most of your time thinking about things to do than actually doing them. Mate, I mm-hmm. have I have like a, I have two pictures that I bought framed just up against the wall <laughs> in my bedroom They've been oh. there for about three months. Oh, yeah. I have a stack mm-hmm. of stuff that I've got framed and it's just in my living yes, room. I'm no. like just mm-hmm. leaning up yeah. against the wall. I'm like, I bought more frames the other day and they arrived and we put more posters in the frames. Where are like, you getting add frames to, from? Add it to the pile. Add it to the frame pile. Yeah. Yeah. Where, so are you buying where are you buying frames? Frames are expensive. Uh, we bought these two off of Etsy. Oh. Mm-hmm. And they were, they were, I think they were like $30 each. I haven't thought to buy frames. I don't want to buy frames. I was I'm able to get the exact size I wanted, the exact color, and I was like, you know what? For the price, it's yeah. I'm getting exactly what I, I want. I just want to go to a place where I can say, here is my pile of art. Frame it. Cheap Pete's, mate. Michael's. Is that what Cheap Pete's Cheap does? Cheap Pete's does that, yeah. That's what I want. Um, those are nice. Those are nice. That's $12.99. Um, tell you what's really good to get on Etsy. Plants. Mm. Mm. Juliana put me onto that. I got oh. a massive... Um, like a big fern type thing for fifty dollars, free oh. shipping. I just go to the Home Depot nearby. Oh, I wish I had some plants. Home. I've got I've got a nice little plant shop that I go to. A little. Is oh, I do like that one. Near uh, there. Is that on um, Hyde? I think like so. it's 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 like a little corner shop. Uh, no, 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 no. no, no. There, okay. Are you talking about plant therapy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. You. There is there is one nearby. Me. Thoroughly, <laughs> you don't live anywhere near that place. Yeah, by the way, <laughs> I was like, me. I was like. I go, like <laughs> yeah. like, I go to your place. I go to your place, and it is a <laughs> considerable distance away from that shop. Um, but yeah, I I want to go. I didn't know Cheap Eats did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. But I just want to go there and be like, because oh, I, I hate finding. I hate anything to do with numbers. Okay, and like a plant, not plant, uh, like frames that I'm looking at. It's like twelve by this. And I'm just like, oh. If you want a really nice frame, there's actually a, um, like a like a really really nice frame shop mm. uh, right next to uh, the office. Uh, Kate, oh. uh, next to where uh, Kate O'Brien's was. Oh, okay. um, that's where I got that Witcher poster mm. um, framed. Yeah. framed. Like, I don't, yeah. like, but this is like, you want like a really nice frame. No, I you don't, want, I don't you're, want You're that. trying to be I just fancy. No, I'm just trying to get all my, all my shit done. Gotcha. We, we have a recommendation from one Peter Brown 
in the Pia chat. Pia Brown's here? Ooh. He says, buy frames from art to frame, y'all. Also, hello. And then he followed up with, don't, don't ever call, call me cheap Pete. Pete. <laughs> so Peter, 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 one, the one only Peter Brown. The thing that I just said I wanted, I don't know if you heard, was like, I don't want to be involved in the selection process. I don't want to be involved in the framing process. I want to take my artwork to them and be like, black frame, uniform for all of this, please. And then just give it to them. And I don't want, I want to be able to get all that stuff back and be like, cool, it's not going to cost you $1 million. Because you know, um, I'm very lazy like that. That's not how capitalism works. Yeah, no. <laughs> your Akira poster and your Batman poster are framed very nicely. Yeah, I did that. Hmm? Well, yeah. But it's a pain do the rest ask. yourself. It's a pain <laughs> in the ass because I've got like eight different things. That I'm just like, oh, okay. Oh, so. Art to Frames is a website and it looks very handy. Thank you, Peter. I don't know which Art camera's Art to on. Frame. So frames. You, oh, Frames. Yeah, if you have any recommendations for places I can go to. Oh, no, this is a website. Yeah, that's Do not get frames from Michael's, says uh, Sir5000. No, Michael's is, is bad. Yeah. Cheap Pete's is what we're currently looking at. What I'm currently Louis looking asks, at. what about a framing stream? Oh, God, that would be a nightmare. I could probably I do that. It. I now have like yeah. f- s- f- seven cameras in my... Uh, Your s- setup in- is... It's insane now. <laughs> 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 Ridiculous. Um, but that camera is specifically for Lego building, so... I'm sure I can make it happen. And you can't. can't be as for anything else. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Wait, how do we get to frames? I was talking about <laughs> buying frames and do. then not yeah. hanging them up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stuff I didn't do, like put all the yeah. frames up that I have. <laughs> uh, we could ask um, Magic, Magic Able, Able, will Lucy and John Luke finish hanging all their stuff up? All their frames. I can't believe you guys even have them in frames. Like, all my posters are just on the floor. Like, not even framed yet. (laughs) That's the way you're supposed to put posters. It says, (laughs) consult GameSpot. (laughs) (laughs) That's why we asked Peter Brown. (laughs) Peter Brown gave us the the place to go, so. (laughs) Um... Uh, you just put in your posters on the floor. That's not how you, you know. You can just buy a carpet. You don't have to construct one out of anime <laughs> posters. <laughs> That's not. How <laughs> they're rolled up, just oh, leaning okay. on like a corner like of the, no. on the floor. Like, <laughs> friend yeah. of, I'm not some animal. <laughs> a friend of mine, um, their partner had a uh, dining table, and they got loads of cover areas, Tam, old comics, and sort of put pages on that's fucking oh sacrilegious God. i know not like not like popular old okay. like not old like collector's items or anything it's just like comics that yeah, they weren't yeah, reading yeah. anymore and then um put sort of like a mod podge thing Ooh. over the top and then a glass on top oh. so Ooh. they've got a really nice kind of custom table i went to a bar where they um the the bar top was like covered in uh, old video game cartridges but specifically mm. there were video game cartridges that were all um like busted like, okay like, good. They, like yeah. they got them from like a place that was like these are all trash none of them work because mm-hmm. apparently like people they have to say that all the time because i guess people would come in and get really yeah. mad yeah. and yell at them like how dare you do preservation this? <laughs> and they're like nope we didn't okay I would just be like, fuck off, get your own shop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can, you get your own shop and then you can decide how to decorate it, asshole. I do like, I think um, Ikea does them now where they have these tables where they have a sort of indent in the middle and then the glass top. So you can put a collection oh, in yeah. it, and, but you don't have to do anything like pour oh, you okay. know, epoxy or anything yeah. on it. You know, mm, it's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Um, I finished playing a little game called Metal Gear Solid 3. Why did you put a little accent on a Metal Gear Solid? I just <laughs> pronounced the R by accident. Metal Gear Solid. That's how I would normally say it. But um, yeah, I finished that game. I s- streamed it. Wow. Wow. Bang. <laughs> that's, what, that's my. Idea. She <laughs> does the meow. I do the yeah. bang. And, and, and shout out to. Um, oh. Yeah. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I don't want to get your username wrong. Gia underscore rum. J rum? Yeah. Um, it does really cool fan art. Yeah, they, they, they did, did a picture uh, of me and Tam. Yeah, as Bang Aww. and Meow. <laughs> 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 but yeah, that game still rules. Um, oh my God, my last stream was... <sighs> it was a nightmare. <laughs> but I did it in four streams. Uh, still, That game still holds up. I did a pacifist run. And then the last stream, I played like a bunch of it. And then got to the escape, the final escape. Oh yeah, which is like on the on the motorbike, and got to the oh, final. Oh now I know there's a motorbike in it, Tam. Yeah, yeah there's. <laughs> I mean, you've seen the motorbike many times already. That's true. Um, but there's the bit where 
Copy your ears if you don't want spoilers. The hovering <laughs> enemies up here. <laughs> <laughs> the hovering enemies up here. Yeah. You know, they're on the fucking... Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Those assholes. Like, I tranquilized one of them, forgetting that when you tranquilize them, they can no longer fly. So they come, like, crashing to Earth. And, like, like it came down and just exploded. And I was like, shit! I accidentally killed that person. So I, like, I was like... When did I? How when did this game? Did last, I do that? When did this game last start prompt me to save? Because I wasn't manually saving. Because I know that game well enough where I can just be like sprinting through most of it. Oh no! Mm. And it was oh. like literally two hours. <laughs> oh. Did you see the devastating speed run during no. Summer Game oh, Fun Quick? Oh, I just the, heard the, about um, it. Super Mario Sunshine because I guess like the oh, way that game yeah. that, that runs optimized you don't save and the guy just like died during the like one of the floodless levels oh, where you run around no. and just was like and it was two hours into the run and so he's just out then no no he was like he was just like what do, what do I do yeah and they were, they were like Carry uh, on. Uh, yeah. like the again? god bless the person next to him on the couch was just like oh no it's fine we'll just fine, we'll just yeah. start we'll just start over and he's like uh, okay and i was yeah. like oh that no to, uh, i felt so bad that yeah. happened to zeus during one of his runs for bloodborne where he was trying mm. to do something and he kept like not landing it and it was like one of the most entertaining things i'd ever seen because zeus is obviously like oh he's yeah incredible and he'll yeah just that guy like, just knows he how just, to he'll yeah. just like turn it showman. into content he's a showman yeah yeah and like it made for really really fun viewing but me i, sh I tranquilized that dude and it died and i had a meltdown on stream <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, I'm gonna go back. But then, like, I went, like, I had to start from the Vulgan stuff onwards. Mm. And, like, you could, like, I was playing and doing, like, I'm gonna play this t for time saving. <laughs> so yeah. I'm, like, quick switching. Mm -hmm. And people are watching, are like, this man is playing out of pure anger right now. <laughs> like, I was, like, destroying bosses. Spite. Where, like, I was fighting them and they were unable to move because I was pummeling them with like different uh, like <laughs> yeah. uh, items and shit and then it's like stuck in place and then like got that done um, but I had to like that turned into a six hour stream because of <laughs> that one fuck up. Yeah, so like Tam messaged me something and then I thought he'd stop streaming yeah. and then later on I just got a text which was just finished streaming? Just, just finished streaming at like yeah. 11 hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. but it was good. <laughs> It was good. It was it was a lot of fun. So I finished that game. That game still holds up. Um, interestingly, uh, sorry, someone in chat, uh, Joseph Harbin. I fell asleep near what I thought was the end of Tam's stream, and when I woke up three <laughs> three hours later, he was still playing. Yes, yes, <laughs> basically, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was that was a wild time, but it was fun. And then I got into the the final fight, which I won't say what it is. And thank you. Um, and like there was some sort of slight delay between the input and um and like the thing that oh yeah, yeah. the cqc mm. stuff that you need to do yeah and i was just getting rolled and i was like what's going on here and i like, waited to test it and i was like okay there's like a second delay hmm. or a slight delay so i was like inputting it a little earlier it happens sometime i think it's because like i'm running it through an xbox which is going to an agato which is going through a pc and mm. like something at some point is like freaking out i also it happened with Sekiro as I remember, well for a bit. Uh, this might be like more of a speedrunning issue, but I remember like someone during a speedrun of three saying how because of the way the HD version has like higher frame rates than the game yeah. was meant to, that it can actually like kind of break the game in some yeah. way. So it, it could have been doing something weird It like constantly that. feels slightly off to me. Yeah. Like, where like that the movement why. feels weird mm. and like the timing on stuff feels weird. Like I was getting annoyed, not annoyed, but like the fury kept catching me a bunch of times. And I was like, I don't remember being this bad at this <laughs> fight um mm. but it's, it's also been a long, really long time so i could just genuinely be bad at it um but that was fun and i got it finished and now i'm just like what do i play i was like i started I was streaming yesterday i was like what can i play now i finished metal gear solid one two and three on stream so i realized that i hadn't played the resident evil 3 remake oh uh, yeah okay so i i like and I, I think it's because i heard kind of like a lot of not great stuff about it mm -hmm. yeah, yeah a lot of people were like especially come and i think this part of the problem is that they were following up resident evil 2 remake yeah. which is mm -hmm. not only which is fantastic it's just incredible like it's, it's like, <laughs> it's like the, one of the one best of the, games ever yeah made. it's like, like one of the best resident evils like, yeah, hands yeah, down. yeah oh two is a fantastic game but like resident evil 2 remake now stands as like one of the all-time greats of video games not just remakes oh yeah of mm -hmm. video games yeah 100 yeah, percent. and like i think a lot of people expected that again from three but the thing about three is three i really loved when i was younger three is a very different type of game from resident evil 2 og as well it yeah. is like 
I think a lot of the criticism I, I felt I saw around the three remake was like, oh, it's very guided and it's very like linear and it's very action focused and. It, it, that's kind of how that game is. A few levels. Yeah, that they, that's, are, that's the more egregious part uh, for yeah, me. Is missing. That, that they straight up removed. It's like the clock tower is just gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> and I was like, oh, come on. Yeah. So there's chunks yeah. of it that are missing, and it's a little more action focused. And I also like, I wanted more of the Mac Mr. X stuff. It makes so much sense to turn nemesis yeah. into that like he should function like mr x because and he does if you think about it mr x functions like nemesis exactly from the original. it's if it feels like a weird reversal yeah yeah mm -hmm. whereas now he's like hello it's me nemesis mm -hmm. and then you're like oh, i don't mm -hmm. like this very much Rocket yeah Launcher. they have like, like one right. section of that game like, it's yeah. like the where he is chasing you and it feels intense and yeah. then like the rest never of the again game does not yeah. happen it's all scripted it's and it's so it's so disappointing but like i i Installed it. it. Luckily, it's on Steam sales, like fifteen dollars right now. And I was gonna play it last week when I was like, I fired it up in PlayStation Store, and it was like fifty dollars. And I was like, Nah, I'm right. Mm. Um, <laughs> it's also like ten hours or something, isn't it? It's like super short. It's pretty short. Oh, shorter than that. I yeah. feel like you'd be in like six hours. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna try. It. This feels like the right price. And I played like four hours. And I was having a great time with it. Like I had. I mean, a, it's, it not, really it's fun, not a bad yeah. game. And like, hey, you get no. Jill. Jill's great. Jill, mm -hmm. That model for Jill is like, someone is very into making Jill look as hot as possible. Like without making as her like. Should. I must say, Jill. Should. Jill is kind of like the hottest she character looks, in the franchise. And, and I was like, so like, <laughs> this is why hentai exists. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was just playing Resident Evil. Oh, I just imagined him. But saying like, she's not. She's hot, but she's not like they haven't done the weird like pervert hot thing where they're like, oh, we've made her boobs really big and her ass is got. No, junk in she's it. just and like she's like she's like she's like yeah. very attractive. Yeah. But like she's also like she's roughed up and she's like getting a bit mm -hmm. sweaty and she's like kicking ass and you're like, this is just good. It's Carlos a good was hot as well. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say Carlos, Carlos hot. is. Is, he's also an insane himbo and like yeah, he's he also is. very creepy to her immediately like he's very like he's flirting with her too hard the way it's like you're a bit weird man I don't like you. <laughs> and also like how did he get into that like military position with a haircut like that I, it no, makes you no know, sense you know in Scrubs <laughs> where JD invents the hermit <laughs> It looks like Carlos is wearing one. He's like, them. every scene they cut to him and his hair is just like fully in front of his eyes. And I'm like, it looks fake. How are you firing a gun with like, yeah, in front of your eyes like that? It's ridiculous. But the first thing he's he so sees, he's, he, mm -hmm. he's very, very he's attractive. He's dreamy. But he's also like, immediately he sees Jill and he's like, oh, you're very hot. And you're like, fucking come on. <laughs> we were all, all thinking very it. very like, attractive. I was like, we were all thinking it, man. Like, you didn't have to say yeah, it out loud. Use your yeah. asteroid voice. What's going on? You're giving the game away. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's 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 been enjoyable. Uh, it looks really nice. I like that mm -hmm. they introduced the dodge, like the made the dodge mechanic stuff. Really yeah, easier. that stuff's really cool. Um, and I've been like nipping about, and I went into the toy store that's got a Mega Mega Man in it. Mm -hmm. That's the big giant yeah, life size mm -hmm. Mega Man. I was like, oh, I just want the helmet, or at least give me a servbot helmet so I can pretend it's Dead yeah. Rising again. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like a few um, hours into it, maybe two or three hours into it, okay. um, and played it with stream and like uh sphere hunter came through and like was just like hey. chilling out there and like i was like oh shit now now, now it's on Evil yeah Expert now now i have to be good i have to be good <laughs> not only that immediately i got bitten by a fucking three <laughs> zombies in a row and i was like oh <laughs> uh, uh, jill is her favorite character yeah, yeah. Jill yeah. Is the original yeah. version of three yeah. is her favorite game yeah, so yeah, exactly. that's a lot of pressure um, mm. yeah but like i was i was just having fun with it where i'm like i yeah. i play that game where i try not to shoot zombies i try to like skirt yes. around them uh -huh. which is yeah. what yeah. i always do but like the zombies in this game, like they lunge you pretty. They're far. aggressive as well. They're yeah. very, and yeah. some of them you shoot them in the face, and they're just like, no, I'm mm. just gonna carry on walking. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. The um, the nightmare mode in that game is also really good. I've not tried that yet. I, I don't think you unlock until after you beat it. Mm, but okay. like it, they do actually like mix up enemy types and stuff in a way that feels yeah like pretty cool for like a new game I plus. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna finish it. And I'm, I need to jump back into Resident Evil 4 um, VR. Oh, yeah. Mainly because I miss mm. I miss the loop of shooting a zombie in the leg and it falling over. Like, or like I, immediately I don't, kicking them, yeah, pull out the knife. A, a and good melee them. attack. That's what I've been missing from the more recent Resident Evil games. Like I like it when you shoot an enemy, a zombie and they just like topple over. But in, in these games, you shoot them in the leg and they're like, 
and my ouch my leg and carry on walking yeah and you're like oh god I, yeah yeah I kind mm-hmm. of, mm. two and three it's like there's like that perfect like eye frame you gotta like find where it's like yeah. okay i could just gonna dodge right there yeah and Ooh. uh but yeah i've been enjoying it it's fun it'll probably be over very soon mm. um which is fine for me and then hopefully by then like something else will have come along that i can check out um but yeah that's what i've been playing mainly i did start leftovers as well because yeah. um, you also want to be sad uh, that's my secret, Captain. I'm always sad, but also it is, um, I think you'll like it because you can see season season I was one missing is lost. season one is very very different. Season two and three is where it gets Lindelofy, but yeah. it's like you can see him go from Lost to Leftovers to Watchmen. Watchmen, yeah. Like yeah, I think yeah. I was I was like missing Lost. Well, I was miss- missing uh, like prestige TV because I'm watching mm-hmm. Westworld and. Oh, oh boy, that gosh. show is not good <laughs> anymore. I have not heard a single person talk about it it's, other than That's true. I YouTube. haven't heard anyone talk about it. I haven't heard anyone talk about season bad. three either. They and were we like, covered Westworld <laughs> for like two or th- three seasons? Yeah. Three seasons? I say I remember coming to GameSpot in like 2018 and like yeah, I remember when yeah, Westworld we, doing, out, we, yeah, were, we doing were doing breakdowns. Yeah. breakdowns. Yeah. And then yeah. season two and then season three, like I barely heard anything about. And then um, season four, I saw it on HBO. I was like, they're still, they're still making I, that I show? I described season four as it feels like they that uh, it's moved to the CW. Like it, oh. it, it's, oh. it's bad. That's, I, that's I don't want to. Well, I also like, especially this is in the light of how Marvel has been apparently treating their VFX uh, artists and stuff. Um, the VFX work in some parts of Westworld season four is abysmal. There's yeah. a there's a point where I think it's in episode one or two where a fire starts in a cabin, and I was like, "What is that? Yeah. <laughs> what is that free thing? Is that a free thing that you got from uh, like YouTube with a green background yeah. and you've just oh super, like the plug-in looked, effect yeah, you put in? But there's another bit with a train and oh, it's meant yeah. to have like a dust around it. And I was like, "Oh, is that meant to be dust?" Right? Holy <laughs> 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 shit. <laughs> now I have to watch it just to know what you guys are talking uh, about. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's it's really like... But also the story is just gone. It's just convoluted. And it doesn't make sense anymore. Yeah. And it's not interesting. The saving grace for it is they've got um, Ed Harris. Oh, he's, he's putting like, in work. He's, still, he's carrying that show on his own. Like, he's incredible as... I think Evan Rachel Wood's doing really Evan well Rachel Wood is good as well, yeah. But her character... But her character it. is like... She's... Very str- like her character works for a video game development mm. place, and she's in some sort of weird like a plot that feels like it's m- might have been rejected from Riverdale, and it's just like <laughs> oh, hell, come on. Whereas the Ed Harris character feels connected to the old stuff yeah. more, and like as an actor, Ed Harris is incredible, and he's got like a mystique to him, and he's mm-hmm. scary, and he's mm. also like like uh, very threatening and like he he's, he's carrying that show i feel like so i'm like tuning in for him but every time i start watching it, i'm like also the fucking aaron paul's haircut is insane i don't know I what's, don't know what's what happening, is happening with, with his hair what this do you mean <laughs> he's like <laughs> describe it it's I like will, i get a picture of i must say someone needs to pull yeah, up should, a picture you should look at i put a picture of him on twitter and i was like what the? he's like got he looks like his hair was cut so it could be like moved to the side like you know, like a comb, yeah, sw- swipe, kind of like mine. But instead, he's just wearing that's it. Not on his, on his, that's not real. That's real. That's not real. That can't be real. Look at that's that hair. A, that can't be what they went for. It's oh, just so weird. Oh. It's very weird. Yeah, <laughs> that's it's so strange. That is for our, for our audio listeners. It's really bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was like, "Give me the Spider-Man three haircut." Oh yeah. my god, it is. Spider-Man three haircut. Yeah. <laughs> Would, but the thing is, as well, it's like. Oh, the thing that's bugging me about it is I always loved in old seasons of Westworld where they would kind of do little throwbacks to the original park. Um, yeah. But there's stuff in season four where it's, if I have to hear Maeve's fucking this is the new world, you can be anyone you want to be speech one more time. I hate Maeve as a character now. Well, they, they, cause that's they're, surprising. Like, she no was spoiler, pretty good. And like they've given her powers and it's completely inconsistent. And it's just like, I, she's just, she's become Neo and yeah. it's really shit. Like she's, she's shit. Oh. Neo. I, I think, I, I mean, I think in terms of just she like, just, she, there's a bit where she literally looks like a, at a surveillance camera and goes, yeah, it's and because it they just, they just, just <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> they just like don't know what to do with that character, and so and I'm waiting yeah. for it to. So all that show should have ended a it should have season ended ago. Season yeah. two, like, season two, I think that would have season been three. Problem. They kind of like kind of still was intriguing. Now it's just like oh god, like, like unless unless something happens that really brings it all together in the end. But I even should, even yeah, I don't know. 
mm-hmm. Bernard and stuff. I'm just like, I... Yeah. There was a time when a character would say freeze all motor functions and you'd be like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Stuff's going to happen. Now everyone's going to freeze all motor functions and no one's listening well, to them and yeah. like, it's like, <laughs> what's going on, man? No, the, the, main, the main problem, and then I promise we'll stop bitching about Westworld, the main problem <laughs> is that they are still relying so heavily on the anyone can be hosts thing but now it's so easy to turn someone into a host that every time someone is mysteriously a host, it's like, well, yeah, of course yeah, they were. Like, host, yeah. everyone is at this point. This is not a surprise anymore. And I am mm. really sad that I'm missing the genuine surprises because in season one, it was like, well, is is Bernard yeah. a host? Like, I, I don't understand. What's that? What's the deal with this kid? Like, and the timeline was all over the place. And it was, uh, it was yeah. just, yeah. It's and like season mm-hmm. one of Westworld felt like season one of Lost to me or early Lost where it was like, I don't know what's I don't know what's real. I don't know what's going on. What it is the mystique, so well the mystery like behind yeah. it? And I was craving that. And I started. I watched one episode of Leftovers, and I was like, I'm getting a I'm getting a vibe that something is being season set up season there. one of Leftovers is like because they had a book to go off, and yeah. that's what season one is. Season two and three, when Lindelof is just doing his thing, yeah. There is an episode called like international assassin or something which is just the most Lindelof thing I think I've ever seen (laughs) phenomenal but I like it because it's like it doesn't belabor the point it's Mm -hmm. just like you jump into this kind of world that like weird shit is happening and you've got these people who never speak but are just like chain smoking constantly and you know the the vanishing has happened and etc etc and you're like okay so they they've got a lot of interesting mysteries set up Mm -hmm. that to kind of unpack everyone is just perpetually depressed in that show though like yeah always there's it is a sad time for everyone involved and, yeah. and like you're just like okay cool um but yeah i, I started watching uh, that and that was that was cool um but beyond that i'm uh, i'm i've been reading berserk as well as always uh, i th- i had like a break away from berserk for a little bit just because it got busy and i was like oh i'm gonna re- i'm gonna read another issue of berserk um the other day i was like i'll jump in bed read some read some berserk I was reading until like 3 a.m. <laughs> I, <was like, laughs> I looked at the time and I was like, oh my God, I was supposed to read for like an hour. And, and like, books are good. Mm-hmm. Manga is great, yeah. Um, and yeah, and that's, and that was it. That's mm-hmm. all I've been playing. Um, I also started playing Point P, which is fun. Oh, that's, the, yeah, I started the, playing that one. Uh, uh, the yeah, Netflix, Netflix mobile game. Yeah. game. Oh. oh, how is that? It's fun. It's like one of those games where you just kind of like, you only really need to flick and you just kind of like, it's like reverse down well. Yeah. But you're trying to go reverse up. Down well. And it's like really fun. <laughs> up well. <laughs> up well. Um, you just kind of like flick this little character and it kind of like, mm-hmm. it bounces up. So you've got like moving from platform to mm-hmm. platform. And then if you like bounce him off a wall, he'll do like a little double jump and you figure out new like traversal moves. Um, and the whole goal is like just to get up. And sometimes they'll be like, oh, you need to, to open this room. You need to collect three cherries and one coin but there's like five cherries and three coins so you're like there's clearly a right trajectory i need to use to co- to kind of like only collect the exact amount i need or i need to <laughs> mid-air like readjust or something like that you know how you said is the opposite of down well mm-hmm. it's by the person who made down well oh yeah no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. i didn't know that. Yeah. so he made down well he's like what yeah, if he's i like, just went the I other I direction the 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 I mean, one day he just like his fo- he grabbed his phone upside down was like yeah, no, hold on a oh, minute no, <laughs> yeah like, he dropped his phone he's like huh <laughs> but yeah that, that was fun um that was a good time uh anyone interested in checking out point b i've got it got it downloaded i mean i, I guess this is the first l- i've ever heard of played it. it a little bit um do, do you need anything special with your like a special version of netflix no or? you just need to have no. netflix and then on if you phone? open if you open the netflix app it has like a bit of um like on the bottom it shows you Games where and mm. then it just takes you straight to the it just uh, asks you to log in basically yeah. the, okay the apple store yeah i yeah, guess i could try that then you probably should because they're releasing Into the Breach on there soon. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Into the Breach is coming Netflix, right? That was yep. announced. Oh. Um, with well, new this content. changes everything. <laughs> with new content, basically. Oh, yeah. can I play that on my iPad? Yes, yeah. you can. <gasps> Ah, um, oh, damn you, Netflix. Yeah, to Netflix, date, one of the best video games I think I've ever played. Yeah, Into the Bridge is phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> Netflix is making moves. I'm like, mm. surprised. Like, I think Point P is great. Like, Into the Breach is great. 
Um, and and um, they're like making a lot of smart. Move. They acquired that studio, night um, school. Night school. I yeah. think they're making a lot of. Out of everyone who's been like, we're getting into games. Netflix has so far done as the opposed most. to Amazon and Google. <laughs> yeah, Amazon rolls up and like we're getting into games. Like, yeah, well, at least cool. Netflix seems to like at least understand that like they can. They don't have to like chase like triple yeah, a normal they like they're trying they're to at least like thing. netflix is also being smart yeah. but being like we're just attaching it to our existing service that we know just everyone, everyone has. already has like, like we're not gonna sell you a box that like, you have to buy yeah, i think it's absolutely genius that they went to the interbrief team and were like we want that and we want extra content like mm. that's that's like the one thing sure, that yeah, i want so yeah. good yeah like yeah. if they did they should just continue doing that where it's like find games that they know people love and you know kind of freshen them up and then yeah. go like and get little... new new games to kind of support as well yeah what, what's um, that one game that's coming out uh the, the her story guy oh um, it just got oh, delayed, yeah, it, got didn't delayed. It? Um, it did oh, no yeah. that was supposed to be like a week or two oh. yeah it got delayed for a little sam, bit what's his name again sam barlow sam barlow yeah. not sam warston which is what came up when i <laughs> uh immortality yes immortality. that game's yes. gonna be on on Netflix as well. I was like, yes, FMV games. Yep. Put them yep. all on Netflix. Absolutely. Slight delay, just to end of August. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So not too yeah. bad. Still, not too bad. I want. It's like a that. last minute thing. Yeah. Really bad. Yeah, for sure. Um. Yeah. And so that's everything I've been playing. Mm, I'm just trying to find the document, and then I realized that we don't. We don't have one. We don't have one. Have one. <laughs> this week. Document. That's the end of that one. <laughs> that's the end um, of that chapter. Yeah. So. Uh, we don't actually have any questions or anything like that lined up. Well, we? not lined up, but let me check in the let's have a, Discord. Let's have a look in the Discord. In the meantime, uh, Daily Bean 31 in chat says, Raised by Wolves is so good on HBO. Mm. That's only two seasons as well. Sadly, got cancelled recently, mm -hmm. wow. um, which is a shame. Ridley Scott um, behind that one. As oh, well really? As mm -hmm. Oh, um, Acclaimed a British actor. Friend of the show. A friend of the show, I guess. Abu Bakr Salim, mm -hmm. um, who you may know from... Uh, Assassin's Creed, yeah. the voice actor, maybe motion actor as I well, was, of yeah. Bayek. Oh! Um, yeah, mm -hmm. very talented. Mm -hmm. um, so he's in that. Uh, and I've heard nothing but good things about it, so I mm. want to check that out as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, any questions? We've got a question from Ben B, who was a person a couple weeks ago who said, started listening to the podcast back in February, and I'm only 10 episodes away. So that's another one. Uh, are there any peripheral devices you were hesitant to purchase, but once you used it, became irreplaceable? Which has the same cadence of like, show me a life hack. Show the, me a life and, hack. And uh, mm. that TikTok. Uh, as an example being, I just bought the Mountain Everest Max keyboard, and now I struggle with my keyboard at work what? due to the lot due to the loss in comfort and ease of use. To the point, I want to get the sixty percent keyboard for work and travel. Uh, also, I'm now fully caught up. If you were curious, I've got an hour drive to work, so I tried for at least five episodes a week. Hell yeah! Wow. A Thank valiant you. effort. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, the this Mountain Everest Max keyboard. Okay, I'm, I'm good. I was about looks, to say, does someone have a picture this of this looks, keyboard? I don't know. It's, I thought I was expecting something small, but this thing is huge. The what? Mount Everest Max keyboard. You were expecting something well, he small? Was like, he was like, I want to get a sixty percent keyboard. <laughs> oh no, he was gonna get the sixty percent one. Oh look at this. Mountain GG. Wow. This thing, wow. This thing okay. has got like dials and shit on it. Is this, is this the Steel Battalion controller? What's going on? <laughs> Um, so what was the question? What peripherals? What peripherals? Like a peripheral you've picked up that oh, was like changed your life. That changed your life. So uh, my, no. I've got a, my keyboard. My current keyboard is I really like it. Um, it's I got a, it's a standard Keychron mechanical keyboard. Oh yeah yeah. But Keychron's great. It has Bluetooth um, on it, and also wired, so you can wire mm -hmm. it. So I have two computers set up: so a laptop and a gaming PC. So what I do is I I plugged it into the gaming PC. It's not great. It's not designed for gaming, but I use it for gaming. I'm only using a few keys. Yeah. And if you're playing with me, you just get over the fact that you can hear me click clacking. Um, but like I plug it into that and then I Bluetooth it to my laptop for work. So I only have to have one keyboard so I can switch between the two, yeah. which I really, really like a lot. Um, yeah, that, I, have, I, have like I a used little... to have two, keyboard, two keyboards. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, like, I mean, yeah, I have like a KVM switcher that I just like hit a button and it just like boop switches over from laptop to like PC. And that's really nice. Oh, wait. Yeah. Where'd you... you get that from? Yeah, what's that? <laughs> um, I think it was just on Amazon. It was like 30 bucks. It's, mm. it's just a little little thing. Plug in whatever USBs you plug into it. And then you just, I just like uh, use the whatever that little sticky like velcro <laughs> so what like is it? a usb it switcher um KV yeah switcher 
Uh, I think it's by like U Green or something is the brand. Interesting. Um, mm. Oh god, I don't want to add. Yeah, anyway. U Green <laughs> USB 3.0 switch selector. Yes. Two com four port two computers. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> you literally, just hit a button. Switches between my laptop That's and my PC. Changed my world. Also, I'm looking at this Mount Everest thing. By the way, it basically has oh, a, a Steam button. Stream Deck built in, so you can. You, there are four keys on the top above the. Um, uh, oh. The numlock stuff, and you can. Oh wait, wait! It also features integration with OBS Studio. <laughs> wow! What the hell? Now I want this keyboard. Stream Stream Decks. I do have one. Incredibly yeah. useful. I don't have one at home, but I mean, I'm using one right now. Literally just switched no. the show, and they I mean, they great. are so oh, they're great. So good, yeah. They're so expensive, though. They're like, I get why, because it's like, I imagine it's a pretty, pretty beefy piece of tech, and you can like do a we lot can, with it. You can get the app. There's a stream. Yeah. You have to pay for it. Are you kidding? You have to pay yeah. to use the app. And I was um. like, I refuse. If I'm going to pay, <laughs> I'm going to buy the thing instead. But also, I won't buy it because it's too much money. No, no Stream Deck uh, goes on sale every so often. Yeah, they have a white one now. And I was like, oh, that looked really good in my white setup. Oh, <laughs> no, I got I got the mini, and I really, really love mine. Um, oh, is that just like six, mm -hmm. the six key one? or I think it's 12. Oh. Yeah. Because I think they have. Let's have a look. Wait a second. Does this KVM thing work with any USB device? Oh yeah. Oh my god. And I, I, I have um. I have Tam's like, like, why are you telling me this? So I my mouse <laughs> uh, or my keyboard is a um, Logitech wireless keyboard okay. that I just have a little dongle, but I just put the dongle in there and oh. it works, and then I could just boop 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 between the two. Because I've got two mice on my table that I would love to get rid of one of. So. Oh yeah, no, because my mice is hooked mm -hmm. up in there as well. Same thing. Nice. Yeah. That's yeah, cool. that's what that's what I want. Yeah, I'll get convenient. the link off you, one of you after. Um, I have the Stream Deck Mark II. Okay. Is the one I have. And yeah. I got that. I did not pay $150 for it, though. I think I got it. I think I got the last gen version on sale. Okay. Because they just launched this version. Yeah, this is the Mark II. Yeah, I have that's the, the thing. One. Like $150, that's so much money. But the white one is nice. But the white one's really <laughs> nice. So 5,000 in the chat says tiny keyboards are for perverts. Um, wow. I like Coming I, out I have swinging. A, I have a 60%. <laughs> I really like yeah. tiny keyboard. Like, look, mm. I'm not an accountant. I'm never going to use that number pad thing on the on the side. Like, get rid of it. I yeah. don't need it. Yeah, same. I used a 60% uh, that Dave had from doing some uh, hardware stuff back when I was back in the UK. And I was like, this sounds really good. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I am just be. Just like, yeah, like cherry keys switches. Yeah, mm -hmm. brown. Oh, this is this is some Jeff Bacalar talk. I feel like he's yeah, activated not, somewhere. Yeah, he's gonna come out. Y'all talk about keyboards. Y'all talk about keyboards. Oh my god, relax. Um, but yeah, that's a peripheral that I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. I no. Yeah. KVM switcher, especially if you use two different mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, key computers. Mm -hmm. Highly uh, recommend it. The DJ Hero Deck. What are you using that for? That was a peripheral that I you playing I was, uh, Bloodborne on it or you know whatever. I mean, back when DJ Hero was active, I played a hell of a lot of DJ yeah. Hero. Holy shit! But that was a peripheral I looked at. I was like, that's never gonna work. And then I got one. I was like, this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> we have one in the office, and I really want to hook it up. Do do it. Oh, uh, we, we should hook up we like rock game? band and stuff. I we must we have must have. We, I think we do. I think yeah. we do. That yeah. game is so good. So was it Freestyle Games that made it? I think. But so know. good. Why did they never make another one? They no, made they two. They made two. They, made, they did. They made, yeah. they made, a, they made then, a second one. Yeah, and then they just didn't do as well as yeah. guitar. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think also like by the time the second one came out, that's when like Guitar Hero was also yeah, kind also of on kind the of decline of at that but point. But like the thing was like they created their own remixes mm -hmm. that was so good. It's only ninety bucks on Amazon for the turntable and the game <sighs> bundle. So good, so good. Uh, I think you could probably play those on stream without getting DMCA'd. Because they're so like wildly mm. remixed. Maybe I got I, I got a uh, part of my. Um, Let me look at Twitch and see who's playing DJ. No Hero. one's gonna be playing. No DJ one. Hero. I, I guarantee I you, it's zero. Magic Eight Ball. Will there be people on <laughs> Twitch playing <laughs> DJ Hero? <laughs> Let's see. Big money, big prizes. That means yes. <laughs> Damn, do you know about the OBS function uh, where you can uh, specifically like take a certain track? And apply it to um, like a uh, specific track in OBS, like au like audio tracks. You can separate your audio tracks. Yeah. You can do that, and then you can tell Twitch, "Hey, this audio track has licensed music on it. Don't touch and, it." 
And no, and it'll automatically get rid of it on the uh, archives, so you don't oh, get DMCA. Oh, I did not. Yes, know you they do have that. a specific function for that because it's not just like. Is that an OBS level function? It's a function that works with OBS and Twitch. Interesting. With each other. Someone I, was streaming DJ Hero Two five hours ago. Nice. But are yeah. they streaming right now? That's no. big money, big no. prizes. That's troubled Chris. Is he all right? <laughs> He's playing Cuphead now. Okay. Um, yeah, the ending of my Metal Gear Solid stream got uh, muted on, on the stream <laughs> because it plays yeah. uh, a song by Star Sailor. Um, I was amazed that my Quarry playthrough didn't get DMCA'd because I just, I, I played the normal version. <laughs> I, I just played with like... He's like, fuck the rules. No, I was <laughs> like... Ariana no. Grande was like, ah, it's fine. My friend, yeah. my friend was like, don't play the stream version. It, it's crummy. Like, it'll, yeah. it'll just mute on your VODs. Did not. And I've, so I've just got like the Ariana Grande version like on my stream. And I was like, oh, the music in that game is absolutely bizarre. Yeah, we <laughs> talked about that. Uh, yeah. Bonkers music <laughs> selection. <laughs> but all right. Um, yeah, that was DJ was so good. We should bust that out and yeah, we should and yeah. play that a bit for fun. Maybe do a stream. I'm definitely down. Uh, yeah. Any more questions? Uh, no, I think that was the, that one. Was the, that was was the, the latest one. one. Oh, unless we do, we do have like question of the week in the other chat. Hang on. Mm. Yeah, I want to start doing question of the week, although, uh, which Maria over in our Discord will do a question of the week. So if we go to our Discord. Mm. Question of the week. Uh, but I believe this week's question of the week was question about of the week. Uh, our, our, um, our segment last week where we were talking about uh, games that we uh, oh yeah. yeah. So so she did a que the questions based on that. So I guess we couldn't really answer that. Lucy wait, could answer. Yeah. Wait. What was the the topic from last week? I'm sorry. I was sick. It was uh, games that uh, we hate that everyone seems, seems to, love. to love. Oh well, electric. Okay. Well, games that we hate that everyone else seems to that love. That you hate, not we. Oh, that, that you I hate, hate that, that everyone, everyone loves. loves. Yeah. It wasn't hate. It was like a different dislike. Word. Yeah. Dislike or like. Um. Don't I mean, I don't like FIFA. Plenty of people love FIFA. Yeah, that's an yeah. easy one that's too. Easy that's one. how to cop out. Yeah. Grow up. Electric Burger said, what's an example of a game you tried for a while and said, fuck it, and then years and years later went back to it and liked it? For me, it's Witcher 3. For me, it's Plague Tale, because I played like no. two chapters of it and then I bounced off and now look at me. Dark Souls. Yeah, it was, mine was Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Mm -hmm. It was one of those, I remember playing it when I was like, 12 years old and not good oh at God. like Wait, video what? Games. you said that Wait. live on the fucking internet <laughs> while sat next to us really i was, it was definitely in middle school wait in 2000 Jordan, and dark no, no, souls no. came out in 2011 you can't be oh, telling no, no, me no, no, no. you were 12 I'm, I'm probably i'm thinking of demon souls okay like <laughs> that makes way more sense jesus <laughs> <laughs> the and, life just flashed before yeah. all of our eyes and just being like this game is not <laughs> windows not great. Great. in chat says no wonder this man's posters are on the floor <laughs> <laughs> also i love that this is using it called windows 95 <laughs> listen moving into a new place is very hard and you don't want to do any of the yeah. <laughs> responsible yeah, no. adult um, stuff I, I will have been in my new place for my new place for almost a year and i still post can you call it new no place? <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> Um, yeah. Uh, you said Dark Souls? The Demon Souls, sorry? Mm -hmm. Yours is Demon Souls or Dark Souls? Mine was Dark Souls. Mm -hmm. okay. I remember like trying it, getting... I think I maybe got to the... Uh, um, what's it called? The Taurus Demon? No, 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 I got past that. Um, Belgago? Capra? Blight Town. Blight Town. It was Blight Town. Okay. And then I was like, fuck Tri this game. Um, oh, yeah. And then I think what got me back into it was uh, my senior year of college. I was I had a uh, lived in an apartment with like five other guys and all of them decided to get really into Dark Souls so we just became like Dark Souls house. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so, so weird. So everyone's just like all playing. Should we go to John Luke's place? No, they all fucking roll around everywhere <laughs> and smash all the pots constantly. Absolutely. They they not. just leave messages on the floor. Yeah, they're writing on the As floor. As you approach the house you just start hearing the music yeah. just like rise. That was a I turned the fog, a fog machine <laughs> at every door. I turned the gas on and they all came and sat around it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird apartment because also uh, one of my roommates was like crafting his own beer uh, in like the living the room. So, <laughs> so we would just this house. <laughs> we would just be like drinking his like oh, moonshine, <laughs> kind of whatever, like IPA craft beer, and then just like playing Dark Souls. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Sounds insane. Yeah, um, it's a good time. 
Mine was Mass Effect. It wasn't years later. Mm. Like I played Mass Effect when it came out. And I was like, oh, I don't really know. Uh, and then I came back to it like a month later, and I was like, ah, it's hitting. Yeah, mm. it's and all that I did, yeah, I did and the same. Yeah, I was like, I just because there's that part right after the right after it. the <laughs> intro of Mass Effect One, where it's just like kind of like it's not very exciting for yeah. a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> for me, it was like I was I played it, and I was like, okay, and then I had like some mad shit happening in my life, and I was like, I just want to go. So I like <laughs> shut all the lights and sat down, and then. The, and I was like, yeah. this hits a different. What's yeah. going on? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that menu theme. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was just like, I'm never, I'm never stop playing this. <laughs> never stop, never stop no stopping. Mm-hmm. Yep. And yeah, that was it. Um, that was a good question, though. Yeah, I like that question. Did we all answer it? We all answered it, yeah. Yeah. What was yours? Uh, mine was Plague Tale. Oh, Plague Tale. Mm, but not that I didn't like it. Um, yeah. I mean, like, no one's, no one's trying to say uh, Mass Effect sucks. But, you know. No. Uh, Demon Souls is, is terrible. Relax. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Fucking toddler over here. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching slash listening to the GameSpot After Dark podcast live on Twitch or through your podcast service. Pre-recorded in your ears. <laughs> Pre-recorded in your ears. Um, please, if you are watching on Twitch, I'd love it if you hit follow we'd all love it if you hit follow because that helps us you know people want to see the numbers go up i want to see the numbers go up but i don't really mind i'm gonna do this all the time anyway we're all gonna be here that, has, that had like mm-hmm. huge wolf of wall street like mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but there's at some point someone who's got wearing a suit and is looking to cause some problems is gonna look and be like how many numbers they got and the more numbers we got the better it is mm-hmm. smash that follow button while you're here um, if you are listening in podca- on podcast services, make sure to subscribe and re- give a review. review. Give a review. That helps please. us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That yeah. same fucking executive who's looking for numbers <laughs> is going to be at it again. He's looking for words. He's just looking for numbers. <laughs> so if, you, if you're chucking some words alongside it, that would be great. Um, and we should hopefully be... B- ah. I was looking to see if we had any new reviews. Lucy playing the theme, the ending theme ah. early. Ending theme early, yeah. Uh, we'll be back next week, but before we go, Jean Luc, where are people at? Where are people at? Where are people at? And where Wait, that's, where a thing, that's a thing from Drag Race. Yeah. Where, the where, are people <laughs> where are the people at? Where are the people at? Jean Luc, where are the people at? And what are you? Uh, where can people find you? <laughs> well, the people should be at uh, my Twitter account, uh, yeah. Jean Luc Seipke. Uh, mm-hmm. At Jean Luc Um What are you working on? What am I working on? I am working on. I'm working on that. that game that i can't talk oh, about yeah. i'm working on that mm. how do i see i'm also con- uh, still working on this studio i promise <laughs> it is it is it is growing in power yeah i'm slowly at like i added headphones this week yeah, so look, we, got, like, yeah. we got the power play by behringer headphone thingy thank you to jan mixing thanks yeah. jan uh hydra Hydranox on on in the chat says Magic Able is following GameSpot After Dark on Twitch. A good idea. Uh, no. You better fudge this. Is it cocked? No. Uh, it says big money, big prizes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's go, big money, big prizes. <laughs> it definitely uh, didn't say anything. It high. definitely didn't say game over. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm Jordan, where are you at? Where can people find you? Uh, folks can find me on Twitter at JM Ramey. Please read my mad ramblings about Apex. It's it's going into its Doctor Strange supernatural arc. It's exciting. It's good stuff. Please read the uh, <laughs> please read my column so that Tam allows me to keep writing it. <laughs> oh no, I have become the number man. Yeah, what the <laughs> hell? The number man was you all along. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, Lucy. Way up to where can people find you? Uh, I'm working on some stuff that you'll see in a few weeks' time. Um, over on Giant Bomb, Jeff Jeff's Bizarre Adventure, and a new episode of TVOS this week. Uh, it's about minions. I'm really sorry. Um, and then, Tam, you and I are doing Kind of Funny Games Daily tomorrow. Yes, I need to build a script for that later today. <laughs> yes, you do, please. Because I'm in a meeting 9.30 till 10. So Sweet. I'm just going to... How? How? Well, because how? I take all my work meetings on here. So I'll just log in on my No, laptop. just like how do you guys have time to do all of um, anything? Just don't sleep. You know, oh, I was gonna make a Harry Potter reference, but you know, yeah. time turner. No, no. Is um, that game still coming out this year? No, it doesn't. Yeah, matter. no. Every time I boot up the <laughs> Epic Game Store, it's like, please pre-order whatever, and I was like, 
I don't, I don't think, think I, I will. will. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'm yeah, I'm everywhere. Twitter.com slash Lucy James Games, and I'm streaming Mass Effect because Legendary Edition was free. Uh, <laughs> thanks to thanks Bezos box, I guess. Amazon's free. free service is literally called Freeloading. Which is like what? yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> what <laughs> it was called? Like, be, a, be a freeloader and get free games. Yeah, it's like hey, freeload now, you freeloader. Yeah, like, that's the same energy as 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 the Discord communication app, which is a word describing oh, yeah. um, things not going well in communication. <laughs> it's like okay, cool. You're just insulting mm. me mm-hmm. by using this, but anyways, yeah. Um, so you're streaming Mass Effect. Streaming Mass Effect yeah. and um, having a nice time doing it. Love it. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Tomo H. Um, what am I doing? I I put, I put up some post about NZXT's recent capture cards that they sent me. Mm. Um, the Signal mm. uh, HD 60 and 4K 30, which are surprisingly good. I don't know why I said surprisingly. They know a thing or two about hardware, but really That's easy. where I got my PC from. Yeah, plug and play can, stuff. Can they send us some? For uh, I, don't, I have no info? idea. Yeah. I don't know why they sent it to me. They were like, you want to do this? And I was like... Okay. All right. Whatever. <laughs> I'm, I, I need. Well, dude, we need capture cards in here. We need, in this, cards in, in this we need some more NGXT capture cards in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's too many, man. No, that doesn't work. Like. Um, <laughs> and ZFT, if you listen, send us some capture cards. Uh, but yeah, I did that, and then um, T Boss is out now. Jeff Jeffs is happening. Uh, Voice mode dump truck. Uh, the latest episode we're on as well. Um, and then I'm on Twitch streaming Resident Evil, and probably gonna go into something else after that. Um, yeah. Should we'll we do a, should we do a final question to yeah mm-hmm. to the magic eight ball? Um, what is the final question? The final question. Um, Chat. Ask one final question for the magic eight ball. Or Make it a good one. Just you know, what's what's the week g- ahead going to be yeah. like for games? Magic eight ball. Are <laughs> gamers going to behave themselves in the following week? It could happen. Oh, oh. oh. oh let's go. It's not a no. That would be cool. Someone did ask, ask uh, is Metro Prime 4 coming next year? Yeah. See, I was going to ask, is, <laughs> is Hollow Knight Sub Song coming uh, out next month? It says Red Ring of Death. Oh, no. Oh, oh, sorry. 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 Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it. Probably not. We will see you next time, next week, same place, same channel for Games for After Dark Live. Enjoy your gaming. Happy gaming.